Hello, and welcome to Forgotten Tech. In today's video, we'll be revisiting the Compact SLT-286 laptop to try and get it booting off of its hard drive. After doing a lot of searching, I finally managed to get my hands on a copy of the Softpak Diagnostic Utility, a program that acts like this computer's BIOS program. I'm including a link in the description if you need to download this for yourself but you will need a 720k floppy to make it work. So let's boot it up and see what we can do. Incorrect date. Well, I don't know if this computer can handle a date from the 2000s, but I guess we're going to find out. And here we are. Press F4 and select an item. Okay. Interesting, it shows the fixed disk one is type 2242.9 megabyte. That is correct. Interesting. It's not showing any expanded memory, that's not good. Well, at least it still works. Current operating speed, high. Power source, external power supply. Well, everything appears to be correct, so I'll just hit F3 and save changes. We'll see what happens. So showing system options not set, but we'll hit F1 just to see what happens. We're starting off with a hard drive. Excellent. Looks like this computer just needed to be reminded that it has a hard drive. Unfortunately, I'll probably have to do that every time I want to start it now, because the motherboard battery has died. In order to replace it, unlike on a newer computer, where you'd simply remove an access panel and replace a small button cell, the battery on this computer is actually built into one of the chips on the motherboard, so in order to replace it, I would actually have to grind off the top part of the chip with a Dremel or a similar tool to get to the battery. Not something I'm willing to attempt right now. Well, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this, please remember to share and subscribe. 
And I'll see you next time on Forgotten Tech. I wonder if that poker game still works.